In 2007, I got an invitation to attend the final stage of an interview. You know, I'd started the process in the previous year, and so I got this invitation to attend that final stage of the interview. But I didn't go. So, and then I regretted later about that decision to not go. And you'd ask why didn't I take that opportunity at that time? So at that time, I was newly married, I was pregnant, and I was talked into not traveling for that interview. So that's a regret. I, it's, one, it's one of my regrets that I should have at least given myself the chance. I didn't give myself permission to take that chance because within myself, there was a part of myself that felt I was unworthy of that job. Yes, that was what I came to find out about myself much later. That, and so that was why it was, it was very easy for me to give in and say, well, uh, another one will come. <laughs> of course, I got other opportunities, but I would never know how that would have been for me, how my journey would have been if I had taken that uh, job opportunity. As humans generally, regrets are part of our lives. You know, we have this regret of not asking for, for salary increase when we, when we think we deserve it, traveling more when, when we were younger, not saving uh, or investing when we had the financial opportunities to do that, not pursuing the degree, not leaving a job that is not giving us satisfaction, investing in a Ponzi scheme, making bad investment choices, do you have regrets of your own? And if you'd like to share with us in this community, you can drop it in the comment section down below this video. You can send me messages or you can DM me. So yes, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I'm glad you're able to join me on today's episode. We are still tackling the five obstacles that I've identified and today we're dealing with regrets. According to Wikipedia, regret is this emotion of wishing that one had made a different decision in the past it's because the consequences of the decision one did make or didn't make were unfavorable. We feel sorry for ourselves that we didn't do or we did something when we look back. So emotions like regrets we classify it as a negative emotion. Now, one of the tricks about emotions and negative emotion is that they are always bringing us information that will help us to identify certain aspects of ourselves that we may be unconscious or blinded to. It shines a little light on that aspect of ourselves, and if we are if we're able to do it correctly, regret will make our life even more meaningful than sad. Yes, so regret could be used as an informational tool that helps us to come into healing and grow and then transform our life into the better version. So one thing I discovered for myself was that the unworthiness that I felt was not something I was conscious of. I was pursuing jobs, you know, writing applications for a good job and doing all the works that is involved physically but there was this aspect of myself in my mind that was not in alignment that was saying you're unworthy for this job you, for whatever reason you do not deserve this job that disconnection you know translated into the outcome for me and so when i came into this knowledge about my worthiness i was able to heal that part of myself that was that may have been disrupted by some events in the past that made me feel so unworthy to have you know this good job these good friendships this good relationship beautiful experiences so when i healed those part of myself i realized that when i look back now i don't have the regrets but i share this as a personal experience i've been able to hide and find a lesson that that incident brought my way and i've been able to heal that part of myself that was unworthy and I'm able to grow myself away from that 
and become this best version of myself that knows my worth, that I'm worthy of a good job, that I'm worthy of a good life, that I'm worthy of good experiences. And that can be your experience too when you allow yourself to understand this emotion. So the first step to do is to hold yourself with compassion. Forgive yourself for that poor decision, that poor choice back in the day. Forgive yourself, hold yourself. It's, you can see that uh, forgiveness and self-compassion is a recurring theme in dealing with shame, with guilt, with blame, regret. It's a very important part of the process. Secondly, I did mention in the other video about yielding to vulnerability. Vulnerability is our ability to not add a way part of ourselves which may feel uncomfortable. Some people would judge you, oh, you were foolish, you were this, but that was my experience in the past. It's no longer my experience now. You can journal about your experience and pour your heart into that writing. Share the emotion with someone you trust or in a community where you feel supported and not judged. And thirdly, ensure that as you look back and you know onto that experience, you're not staying there, but you're bringing that experience into this more aware part of yourself to now you know, unravel why did I act like that? Why did I not go for it? Why did I feel unworthy? You unpack that and extract the information that that emotion is trying to let you come into. Remember, even though you are saying with your mouth and you're working in a direction, that your mind is not in alignment with your energies are not in alignment with that direction where you're facing there's a disconnection somewhere so in order for for you to be able to actually go in that direction and achieve there has to be an alignment of of your thoughts of your words of your emotion how you feel and of your energies Everything has to be together, not some coming this way and oh, they have to go together. Have you ever seen a river flowing in a different direction? No, it's a flow. It has to be a flow in order for that to come to you. And when you fully understand and heal that part of yourself that feels unworthy, that feels undeserving, you'll be able to grow away from that old self into this newer version of yourself. That's one of the ways to create the best version of yourself. And that's what we do on this channel. We learn to unlearn certain things and we learn new information that will help us to create our higher self. If you're new on this channel and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, this is an invitation for you to click the subscribe button down below this video. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss new uploads from me. You learn information that will help you become the better version of yourself. That's what we do here. It's a learning environment, it's a growing environment, it's a healing environment, and it's a transformative environment. I'd like you to drop your comments in the comment section down below. Share with us some of your own regrets and let's have a discussion long after this video. I've ended. I thank you so much for watching today's video. So in the next episode we'll be dealing with the last on the list, anger. And I'll see you then. Take good care of you.